I'm not used to having long hair on me, so I don't even know what to do with myself. Like, I love it, but it's a lot. I can't stop touching my hair. Okay, <laughs> relax. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you're new here, my name's Belts. And today, I've got a look for you. I've got a makeup look and a hair look. Listen, we're doing inches today, baby. Inches. Oh, I've got a birthmark. I used to be insecure about this birthmark, the side of my hip, but now I kind of think it's cute. So, anyway, I don't know whoever thought they were like interested in knowing that. Anyway, we're here to do a look and also a review on this hair. Let's just do the hair first, okay? Get it out the way for those interested in knowing. This is West Kiss Hair. I'm gonna have the info and the details on the screen. I made this wig. A while ago really and I'm just you know finally giving it some play time I'm trying to get better at my wigs this is a closure wig so the sides <laughs> I didn't do my edges here but I did my edges here you know cute little cute little curl or whatever but yeah um thoughts about my hair I'll just give it real quick for you guys no tangling no tangling at all and i've literally i've had this in a bag for like ages i don't take good care of my wig so i know a good wig by how it's handled shedding there is some shedding i won't lie to you a little bit um only if i'm like brushing through it with like a comb so if i'm running my fingers through it nothing but if i'm brushing my hair for a comb then yeah i love the curl pattern this is a body wave it's really, really long, it gives me beachy vibes, it gives me like holiday. Uh, I don't know, it makes me feel like sexy. Do you know what I mean? It's like a sexy ha little hairstyle. What do I do to maintain it? Pretty much nothing. I use Tresemme's Color Shine Perplex. I like, like healthy, like my hair looks healthy. Or well, my wig, which is still my hair because it's on my head, okay? Gives it a bit of like a nice, nice bit of shine, but it doesn't look like synthetic, wiggy um, shine. And it smells so, so good. I wish you guys can smell this. It's got chamomile oil. I don't know if you guys know what that smells like, but it just smells so, so good. But yeah, I love the hair. Thank you so much to West Kiss Hair for providing the look, for the hair for this look. Yeah, the hair's nice and thick. It's not too, too thick. I've got like three, two, no, three bundles in this and the hair still looks really, really thick. If you like this makeup look, please stay tuned and yeah i'll catch you guys in the video hello okay 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 let's get started i've already done my brows and i've already moisturized my face my face feels really really soft i tried a, like a little tester of a serum from lancome let me just bring it into the camera because my skin feels really really good this is what i use it's um a lancome serum it's for like youth activation. I don't know. I got it in like a, I don't know. I got it in a bunch of like, like a sample goodies because I got it with, um, what did I get it with? Perfume. And I put it on top of my moisturizer. Moisturizer, I use Astral. And my face looks and feels really, really good. Anyway, let's get into this makeup. Done my brows using Benefit Precisely My Brow. And then on top, I go in with Glossier boy brow. I don't really know what makeup look I'm doing. I think I'm gonna go for like glam. It's like really late in the night. Um, yeah, I just wanna look cute for you guys. Cause I'm not going anywhere cause it's too late. I'm going to bed after this. So I wanna make a cute look. I'm gonna have long hair. Long hair on me is like a hit or miss. Either I love it or I hate it. So for the foundation, what am I gonna use today? Using Max Strobe Cream in Gold Light around my face. I really need to get like new products. I use like the same products every day. The people that watch me all the time, do you guys get annoyed that I use the same products? <laughs> Cause makeup is expensive. Like I wanted to get the Hourglass foundation and also saving 50 pounds, please. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> gonna be using Smashbox photo finish primer and then you know what actually let me not use a no if i'm gonna do glam i have to do foundation but no i just want to use something different okay let's try to do glam without using foundation i'm gonna regret saying this but i can use tinted moisturizer right yes i can i don't care <laughs> i don't care what the rules are 
We said no foundation. We didn't say no tinted moisturizer. Okay. For tinted moisturizer, we're gonna be using Laura Mercier. I love this. This is the oil free one. It's like my go to. I love it. We didn't say we're doing natural. We just said no foundation. So, tinted moisturizer. Actually, you know, take. <laughs> I'm sorry, take everything I said back. We're doing full glam. Sorry. <laughs> Another layer on top. Going in with the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation in the shade Tahoe. I use this only in the center of my face. Because the um, Laura Mercier oxidizes, I use this in the center just to make sure my face isn't looking too orange. I recently tried the Morphe um, Beauty Blender, this one. And I feel like I prefer Real Techniques. This one is a bit more dense. It's not as soft as the Real Techniques. I like how soft the Real Techniques one is. I'm still gonna use it and see how I get on, but so far I like Real Techniques better than Morphe. I can't believe I actually tried to say I was gonna do a no foundation look and an actual glam. Does that even make sense? Next, what we are going to do is we're going to contour. To contour, I'm using my favorite, favorite, favorite MAC Studio Fix Concealer. Perfecting stick. I'm gonna take it a little bit lower and a little bit higher. I'm gonna make it quite a big one. And also my jawline. I'm gonna go a bit above the, my jawline. And then all around my big forehead. And we're gonna take time blending this in, by the way. What's in my eyelids? I'm gonna take a minute blending all of this in with my Real Techniques stippling brush. So I'm gonna push it upwards. With, um, Concealer sticks, you have to make sure they don't dry down too fast. Luckily, the MAC one doesn't dry down too fast, and I take extra, extra time just blending it all in and taking it down by my ears, even on my ears. I want to make it seamless. No, what? What happened? Yes, what? Come see a sheet. <laughs> Niggas wild. I think I've made it. Niggas wild. I'm right. so annoyed I, can, I can't fight people. Honestly, the hell? Some of the stuff people comment on videos just get me ugh, annoyed. Like, people comment so much dumb shit. When they, when they wouldn't do it in person. Oh, just so annoying. People would actually be so quiet in person. You know what, this is, that's not even about that. Like, let me move on. Anyway, so for contour, I'm gonna be using NARS Creamy Concealer. In, this shade is in Caramel. Cool, I'm gonna go back in with the same sponge and I'll, I'll, I'll go over it again with another layer with the small Okay, I'm gonna go over the same sponge and go over everything. Just because the sponge already has product from the foundation, but I think it also helps blend everything in together. Personally, you don't have to do this. Cool. Then after, back in with the same brush I used to contour, just to make sure. No, so I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to bake. I'm gonna use these two flat sides of the, bra uh, the sponge, I like it for baking. Go over it once more, make sure no lines, even though my eyes just naturally just crease anyway. Keep looking up. Gonna be going in with the Morphe 35O palette. Oh, can it just open? This is what it looks like. I got this in like a gifting, so haha. <laughs> Get to play with it. Go straight into that orange color. But first, I'm gonna be using Sephora's Matte Foundation, Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the shade Neutral Mocha. I love this for a transition shade on my eyes. Right into that socket, taking it all the way up. I'm gonna go straight in with, ooh, okay, let's make it gradual. This color first. 
and then we're gonna go for that one. So this one first. <laughs> I haven't done an orange look. That's what we're doing today, orange glam. The same brush, I've been using the Morphe R40 brush, really like this. <laughs> Packing on my lid. And I'm baking so that any fallout I get, I can just brush off. Tip I learnt from my auntie Jackie. Same brush I was using earlier, just to like blend everything out. I'm gonna go into my Morphe 39A palette. Ugh, the best palette ever. I'm gonna go in with these two, sh no, this shade right here. I always tap off just to make sure you're building and just not packing it on too much. So I pat here and then swirl it around and then go my eye. I think I want to turn it into a little bit of a, a halo eye. Last minute. I'm going to take that same shade, pack either side. Back with the 35O palette, we're gonna take this golden shade right here. I'm gonna use my hand, my fingers. Pack it on my eye. Make sure you only get it on the lid, don't bring it up like I did. So I'm gonna dust everything off. Oh, see, no fallout. We're gonna be using this shade on our waterline. Gonna do my mascara using Il Maquillage and these lashes from Land of Lashes. This is in the style. What's the style? This is annoying. What's the style? Okay, well they look like this. So I've done my mascara. But before I do lashes, I'm gonna do eyeliner because I wanna make it like orange and black, kinda like sneaky a little bit. So you guys always ask how I do my eyeliner. I'm just gonna show you quickly. Oh, I'm using the Il Maquillage eyeliner. Um, ink liner in black. It's got like a real, it's a real fine tip, I love that. I start from just before, just like where my lashes kinda like finish. So not the end of my eye, but where my lashes finishes, and I do a flick. Yep. And then this eyeliner is really, really black. I love it. Ta-da! <laughs> so I'm just gonna put my lashes on. I don't like these lashes on me. Nah, not feeling them at all. Hate that. I paid like nine pounds for those lashes and I don't like them. <laughs> oh, what a waste of money. I'm just so upset. Yuck, pissed off. <laughs> these lashes from AliExpress and I don't want to do, have to do this because like these lashes, I don't even know, what, I can't even link them for you guys because I just buy them all in bulk. So I wanted to have lashes that I've actually bought so I can show you guys. This is why I just stick to my AliExpress ones. Gonna go in with my sleek contour like blush palette. I use all the shades, well at the back of my hand. Put on my cheeks. I'm gonna flush the color today. I want even more drama going on in the bottom of my eyes so I'm just gonna take this shade and take it even lower on my eyes for more drama. This is the L'Oreal Paris the Mer Color Rich. This is like an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlighter. It's oldie, but I love it. Let me swatch it for you guys. I don't know if you can still get it at the drugstore, but I love it. So I'm gonna use it as a highlighter today. I even dabble into my Fenty Beauty 
Kilowatt and Hustler Baby for more. Oh, I like my cheeks. Whoa. Whoa. Eyes are done. So for lips, I'm gonna use the Perfecting Stick NW50 matte from MAC around my lips. I want a browny lip. So MAC Cork Lip Liner. I love this eye. There's no lip liner that compares, sorry. There's none. I even need to get a sharpener for this because this is scratching me. And then I want to try Il Maquillage's lip, like lip matte cream. This one's in the shade Matte Gala. Huh, Matte Gala. Il Maquillage has sent me a bunch of products, that's why I'm like trying it out. I love this shade. Might need to go a little bit lighter with it. Just in the center. Also bought this today. This is Bare Minerals um, Buttercream Lip Gloss in the shade. How pretty is the shade? In the shade Fly. Hmm. Fitting, if I do say so myself. Oh, I love it. I love this gloss. I love this gloss. I, I love it. I love, this is exactly the lip I was looking for, yeah. This gloss, guys, everyone go get it. <laughs> everyone go get this gloss. And then, then gonna be using my Badescu Facial Spray. Love this stuff. Ooh. And then, <laughs> you don't need to do this, by the way. I'm just doing this because I'm extra. Then Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I like my face to be wet clearly. I don't even know how to act. But yeah, I hope you guys really like this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.